Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is going to be about breeding and selection and I got this problem from one of my subscribers. So here is a problem. Some investigators found that mating between horses with pale cream color to horses with chestnut coat color produce exclusively palomino uh, individuals with intermediate coat color A number of matings between palominos themselves produced 19 pale cream, 21 chestnut and 44 palominos. So two questions. Question A. Using the first letter of alphabet, define gene symbols and um, suggest genotypes for three code colors. And first of all I want to show you these code colors. The first one pale cream and he is a horse. Uh, the second color is chestnut. So this is the color. And uh, the last is palomino. And this is color of uh, this horse that we call palomino. So uh, according to our problem, when we cross this horse with this color, with this color, all the progeny 100% going to be of this color. But when we cross horses that belong to this color among themselves, we are going to get horses uh, that has uh, all these three colors, predominantly this color. In order to solve this problem, or at least answer the first question, we have two hints here. The first one, uh, this color as you see, would be intermediate between these two. So it would be lighter than this color, but darker than this color. And also, when we cross this color among the self, we are going to get ratio that is 1 to 2 to 1. So, as you see, we have 19 pale, 21 chestnut, and 44 palominos. So palominos uh, would be uh, as 2 to 1 to 1 because 42 here and about half of this number on both sides. So these two hints enough for us to resolve this problem and uh, my suggestion would be that here we have uh, incomplete dominance. So chestnut color would be incompletely dominant over the pale cream color. So for example, if chestnut color would be uh, capital A, capital A, uh, and pale cream color would be small a, small a, if we cross these two parents, we are going to get in uh, F1 generation, all the progeny that is going to be heterozygous. So once again, if we build a Punnett square, you can see that 100% of the progeny would be heterozygous. So would have one dominant allele and one recessive allele. And because here we have incomplete dominance of the dominant allele over the recessive allele, uh, this parent can be of one color, this parent can be of the second color, but all the progeny would be intermediate color or would be palomino. So now uh, if we build another Punnett square, we would be able to explain this ratio. So when we cross palomino, that is heterozygous, capital A and small a, with uh, palomino uh, in the next generation, so this is going to be F2 generation, uh, we are going to get segregation of colors, so capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. 
And as you see, homozygous dominant would be chestnut color and heterozygous would be palomino and homozygous recessive would be cream, pale cream color. And the ratio would be as uh, 1 to 2 to 1. So this explains exactly what we see in incomplete dominance. And if you confused what the difference between incomplete dominance and codominance, in uh, codominance this color wouldn't be intermediate between these two, but uh, this color would be patches of pure one color and pure another color. So this horse in the case of dominance would be uh, patches of uh, chestnut color and patches of pale cream color. Now we can move to the question B. If Palomino horses breeder wanted to eliminate the pale cream individuals both as parents and offspring but nevertheless wanted to obtain as many Palominas as possible, what breeding method would you suggest that he follow? And it is very easy to answer this question because uh, in this question we are told that we cannot use uh, pale cream color horse as uh, apparent. So that give us only two variants. The first variant would be Palomino color and another would be chestnut. So let's uh, write these two genotypes. So first one would be Palomino and the second variant would be chestnut. That is capital A, capital A. And using these two genotypes we, we can make three different crosses. The first one would be Palomino and Palomino. The second one would be Palomino and Chestnut. And the last one would be Chestnut and Chestnut. And of course uh, we don't need to build a Punnett square if we um, cross Chestnut with Chestnut we wouldn't be able to get Palomino color. So we have to cross out this variant and if we cross Palomino with Palomino we are going to get uh, one quarter of the progeny to be uh, pale cream and according to our question we have to exclude this variant also because we are told that uh, neither parents nor progeny can uh, belong to this color pale cream. So this leave us only one variant. So let's see what we are going to get if we cross chestnut uh, coat color horse with Palomino coat um, color horse. So as you see uh, capital A capital A here capital A capital A here and this is chestnut color in the progeny and capital A and small a here, capital A and small a here and this means Palomino. And as you see none of the parents are light cream and none of the progeny is also light cream. So, so this is going to be our answer to the question B. And I just want to put colors of the parents and progeny here and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye